I'm gonna get those vase. I kept on picking it up. It's um, on sale. Made in Italy. Mm. Right. <laughs> Hopefully there's something new. Try to leave. <laughs> Ooh, How about these. I like that. <sighs> Look, you have the whole family. I'm gonna see how much this set is. You have the mask there with the. Gold clubs. Yeah. Like that pottery. No, you're okay. Let's see if there's anything in the case. A lot of jewelry and watches. Oh, look at that necklace. It comes with uh, earrings. I like the pink with the white. Alright, what about this swan down here? Might have to take that out. Anything over here? Oh, look at this man. This is a uh, England wine. Hmm. Lancaster. Hmm, see how much that is. Usually gives us a good deal. Oh. Uh, about this little man. Made in Japan. Hmm. See about this doggy down here. Oh my god, it's ceramic. I thought it was brass. I kind of like that. Ooh, there's a name on the back. Hmm. Might do that. Now I got the Kool-Aid. It's plastic. Trick me. Let's check out this pottery vase. I like the bottom. And it looks kind of weird. It has that shiny metallic bottom. What's that number? I don't know. I like the quality of it. It's 10, but he'll probably do 5. Look at this um, jewelry box. I like that. Let me just take it down. Alright, we took it out. I kind of like it. Look at his, uh, look at the feet. And all the detail. Is there any markings on the bottom? Can you pick it up? No. I wonder if this is Polish. Those faces up there. Ooh. Was that your mask? <laughs> Put it on. Ooh, creepy. Put it off. Which one? That one's creepy. Oh, you got the same face. <laughs> um, I want to get this Benton right here. Let's see how much this is. I'm going to get this Fenton. Whoops. Fenton thumbprint or coin dot. And it's a cranberry. I already have this. This <clears> is Italian. <throat> I only know that because I have a sticker. We got some more Fenton down here. I 
think back here, I see some Waterford. Let's see if we find the mark. No, it actually could be Shannon. Your son was a Miski and a high school teacher. And she did the ones that say Peterson, like that one. Oh, that okay. That one. All the floral. The I'm not sure. I yeah, that looks like Peterson. it would be Peterson. Anything that says Peterson, like I think that might say Peterson right there. They had an estate sale after she died and oh. this is all. This is what they thought it was worth. But I guess. Thinking about the watercolor. Um, with the rainbow on the beach. I really like that. Yeah, it's in steel. I can't read that. Something Lee Markley. <laughs> what about this Bugs Bunny tray? This is definitely vintage. That's kind of scratched up. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some chips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have a smaller one of this. I wonder how much the bigger one goes for. <clears throat> I don't know. I have to inch more. Over here we have a uh, Franciscan Desert Rose. Usually you just see the teacup. This is shaped different. Right, Michael? Mm -hmm. That's shaped different. Usually it's a teacup. Oh, yeah. So I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. I only get two and then all the saucers. Maybe I'll ask just for two mugs and two saucers. Let's see what Michael's holding in his hand. That's redware pottery. Have some tea. <laughs> sure. Oh, we looked at this before. I think we're going to get it this time. It's pretty design. It's good quality. So I found this light fixture. Um, kind of have, has a Art Deco look to it. Let's see what the back says. I wonder if that's the date, 1925. March 10th, 1925. Hmm. I think I'll get that. I mean, all the wires are pulled out, but that's okay. It's heavy. I want to take a look at this blue piece. It's upside down. There we go. Mm -hmm. Cavalier glass made in China. This amethyst um, glass or pitcher. Now I know these bathroom fixtures sell kind of good. Oh, I don't want to tip it over. The um, soap holder. It matters how old it is and like you have the purple. I kind of looked in there already. <laughs> Nothing really new in there. Look at the Mel Flory um, necklace and matching earrings. It's a sterling silver. Then we have that green necklace hmm. there. Okay, maybe I gotta take it out. Alright. I wonder if it's actually sterling. It's hard to tell. It does look tarnished a little bit. Oh. Beta jewelry by. Ah, oh, so it's. Flurry Sterling Clasp. Hmm. 
I don't know about that. Yep, so I'm gonna get these cuties. Um, this one has a tiny little, it looks like a bubble mark. I don't think it's an actual chip. I like that with a duck on it. This one has the blue bow. She looks bashful. <laughs> Ooh, that one looks pretty. It's a belt buckle. Ooh. Oh, look at the middle. It has like a foil inside. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little barn. Some brassworks. Hmm. 1984 brassworks. Yeah. I really like that. Those are cufflinks. Oh, if anybody really wears cufflinks. cufflinks anywhere, someone might collect them. Ooh, court officer, Lancelier County. Oh my god. I wonder how old that is. Anything down here? Oh, this. Charger. Ooh. Oh, actually. <coughs> mm hmm. I think people buy those. All right, welcome back. Today we are at our local Goodwill. And after this, we're going to show you what we won at the live auction and on the online auction. All right, say so we get in there, so we find for resale. All right, here we go. I actually haven't been to this one in a while. Let's see what this pottery is. Look like little planters. I like those with the hearts and the blue on there. That size and the larger one. Ooh, that's a name. Oh, I think I saw Tender Hearts. Tender Heart Treasure, made in Taiwan in 1996. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. All right, so I looked this up. Um, a few people have this listed, but no sold. Someone has it listed for 25 just for that one. So I think I'm gonna leave it for 4.99 and 7.99. And down here we have all this Ray Dunn. Celebrate. It's a little bit newer, 5.99. Naughty nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip on those. How about this plate back here? I like that with the fruit. Japan, so that's older. You can see it has some craziness on there. It's only $4.99 and it's, I think green is 40% off. So that goes in here. And then Michael found this photo album. It's handcrafted natural product. It's made out of banana fiber and sea grape leaves. I think that's pretty. It's all natural, so we're gonna get that for $5.99. Let's see what else we have. This platter down here. I like that. It has that bubble pattern. Look at this teapot and creamer. It's most likely made in Japan. Hand painted. I'm pretty sure that's um the TT. Maybe. Um, it's $14.99 for the set. So you get the and the creamer and the two cups. So technically, I don't think I would get the cups. I would get that and that. I don't know, it's seven dollars each. Mm. I think I'll skip on that for now. That's pretty with the orange flowers and the gold. That looks like Otagiri. I like that. Look at this picture over here. It's a little bit newer. It has a chip on it. Look at these uh, rooster plates down here. Let's see what the back says. I've seen that mark before. World Market, Made in China, MWW. I kind of like that though. It's 40% off. Ooh. That's $6.99 for the pair. I think people still collect roosters. Oh, 
Like, what about this vase? I was looking at it. I was trying to read the signature. I know, I can't <clears throat> read that. Um, made in oh, H-A... And then it has a number, and it's fourteen ninety nine though. But if it's worth it, it looks like higher quality. Is that yellowware? Made in... Well, I know what? I'm gonna go with my gut on this and pay the fourteen ninety nine. Seems like good quality. That's not a chip there. It's just a glaze mark. Oh, there's a chip up there. I don't know. Put it in here. See if there's anything in the silver. Look at this bowl. It's only six ninety nine. I like the bottom. Product of Japan. Hmm. You know, I always have to look through the sunglasses. Ooh, well, look at these. Those are funky. Oh, wow. Is there a name on it? No. Let me go show Michael. Let's see what Jeremy's doing. Just checking out some oh. sunglasses. Ooh. You like? They're actually kind Work of comfortable. It. <laughs> Oh, look at this cute bunny down here. Oh, it's plastic. I, I thought that was going to be crystal. So cute. Has the blue eyes. Over here. Let me look at these vases. Uh, let's say Chinese. Yeah. It's still pretty. I like that pole design. What are these? RM. I don't know, I like the seagulls on there. Ooh, look at this dish. $7.99. Almost like a hobnail. This cute dog. Hmm. I don't know. Let me look that up actually. All right, what do we have down here? All right. This could be Indiana glass or apparel. We have some chili peppers down here. What is it? We have some Waterford glasses. Ten dollars for the set. How many are there? Oh, you have six of them. That's not bad for Waterford Crystal. Um, I'll look up the patterns, not all of them. Yeah, that's, that's true. Get these Waterford Crystal wine glasses uh, for $10 for the set. We're only going to get four because two of them had chips on it. Um, we get about, uh, I'm going to say 15 for each glass. So I think they'll be worth paying $10 for all right, so we decided to get this planter. Even for $14.99, it's uh, the Pat Young. Um, we saw one sold comp. It was a plain ivory color. This has more colors on it, more detail. Probably get like $50, $60. So I think that'll be worth it. I don't see any damage either. Let's see what we have over here. They look like old tools. I know, I like the fancy handle on that. Never seen that before. How much are they? $10. Guessing that belongs with it. Let's go put that in the cart. Have a little bit of stains, but that's normal with old tools like that. Now we have Pampered Chef. Alright, so down here I'm gonna get. Stanley cup and saucer for $4.99. I like the that purple color with the pink flowers. And then this chip and dip bowl is Indiana glass. It's a uh, flashed. It sells about $20 online. So unfortunately I gotta leave it, even though I want it really bad. I really like that pink. So I'm gonna get the cup and saucer. 
Let's see if this is Yadro. No, it's Russ. <laughs> oh, I like this blue glass. A little squirrel in there. We have Comet. Let's see, all these are for um, Christmas. Trinket dish there. Looks like they might be Amish. Oh, I know that's a good brand. All right, I'm gonna have to put that in the cart. Oh, you have the glasses with it too, the mugs and the candlestick holders. Apple cinnamon. Oh my god, these are still here. Ah, they're on sale. Hmm. Those are cute enough to sell. They're more right done. Eh. Alright, so that trinket dish only sells for about $10, so I'm gonna leave that, but I'm gonna get this made in Italy. Ten dollars and forty percent off. So I'm gonna get that. It's pretty. I like the white rose. Take a quick look down here. Let's look at this horse. I wonder if it's made in Sweden. I can't remember the name. Ugh. I would say no on that. Oh my god! Five minutes they close. We got here kind of late. Oh well. Down here I see pie. Oh, a pizza pie. Ironstone. Oh, I like that. Now I want pizza. I wonder how much that goes for. I think we're going to get pizza after this. I'm going to get this vase. I kept on kicking it up. It's um, on sale. Made in Italy. Mm, I think I get that. All right, welcome to the haul part of our video. Today we're going to show you what we got at the live auction and the online auction. Let's turn the camera on and I'll show you what we got. All right, so I think we'll start with the uh, seahorses. Ceramic seahorses. They're um, mid-century modern and kind of popular right now. There's a certain brand that sells better. Um, this one has a little chip on the back, but I love this blue and a little rough spot on the side. I believe we have these listed for $34 and we spent $5. Next we have this Ron Ray Bluebird of Happiness. I'm gonna show you up close. Now this one is rare because it is a blue jay. Most of them don't have this little peak on the top. It's signed on the bottom. I don't know if you could see that. There we go. Um, and we did this at a auction style only because it's more rare. It's from 1989. I believe this ends tomorrow, actually. Okay, and next we have these Siamese cats, um, ceramic or porcelain. I'm not sure who makes them, but they're really cute. Oh, they're really small. Um, this one, the tail is broken. We didn't realize that. I spent $5 on these. Uh, we pretty much got everything we wanted at the auction that I pointed yeah. out. I'm um, surprised how cheap we got. Next we have this handkerchief um, compote. Now at first I thought this was Viking glass, but it is not. It is L.E. Smith. You could tell by the pedestal on the bottom. It's a little bit different. Um, some people count how many. Um, I believe the Viking has six, but this also has six points. Yeah. But that was only five dollars. It's a really nice color. We have it listed for forty something. Next, let's do this. Okay. Next up, we have this uh, Joseph Originals um, August Girl. It's really cute. Yeah, we have the sticker on the side. Yep. And the bottom. It says Japan on the bottom. It sells for about twenty dollars. Yeah, let's say twenty. But this one is in perfect condition. Yep. No chips, cracks. So we'll see how that does on eBay. Try not to drop it. I know. 
Next we have this Empoli Rosini um, decanter. It's a diamond optic with a stopper, which most of the time it doesn't have the stopper. You can see the bottom. You can tell it's hand blown because there's um, little specks in it. But it's a diamond optic, but I love this blue. We have this listed for about $100. We only spent $5 on this also, five or six. Or I think it might have been lower, $3. Yeah, it might have been 3 All right, we also got this decanter. This is made in Italy, most likely in Poli. It has the stars on the stopper, and there's powder in there. I don't know what that's used for. I um, thought it was probably to keep it fresh. Oh, uh, maybe. Or whatever. But somewhere. it has all these characters on the side. The bowl, um, scorpion or crab, people on there, a uh, weight. There's a scorpion. I thought that was kind of cool. It says made in Italy on the bottom. That was $5 or less at the auction. And then this Fenton Bell I got. It does have a little chip on the bottom. The resale value isn't too much. It's about $20. With a chip, I think I listed it for $18. But it has two Fenton stickers inside. That's beautiful. Oh, we can't forget about this made in Italy um, vase. It's a pedestal on the bottom that has the optic design on there. You can see the sticker says made in Italy, most likely in Poli, I would say on that. Yeah. Um, and then we got these seagulls. This is a uh, mid-century modern. I believe you hang it on the wall or you could put strings on it and be a wind chime. But someone sold these for a set of four for 125 So we have three of them. How much did you list it for? Um, I think I did it for $60. $60? That's good. $65? Yeah, we only spent $5. Not even. We got <laughs> the whole box for $5. Oh, that's right. All right, we also got that fairy lamp. Um... That's, that was Ellie Smith Pagoda. We listed that for $95. That sold quick. Yeah, the next day. So we made about a $90 profit on that. And then we got these two candlestick holders. Um, this is beautiful with a gold. And all the gold is mostly still there. Yeah, except for on top a little bit. Not yeah, not bad. bad. But look at the design on the base. Oh, um, I forget who made it. I think Cambridge made it. It's Cambridge. But I think we spent $10 on those. I couldn't resist that. All right, so for the online auction, we got this Azerbaijan uh, vase. You can see it on the bottom. I love this. I had a bit, and I love art glass like that. It has a little bit of... I don't Maybe know what you call that on on the side. I think it's from when it was ma being made. <laughs> yeah, almost looks like dirt. <laughs> But I love that with the blue and the yellow and orange. Um, next we have this Murano bird. Um, you can see it has the neon yellow stripes in there. And the sticker is upside down. But you can see it's made in Italy, Murano. And it has the lattice design in it. Um, it also has the gold flakes in the beak. Is there any on the tail? No. Nope. But I couldn't fi really find too much on this on eBay or on the internet. So I listed it for over $200. And we spent $35 on it. Next we have this Kemper. Whole collection of it. A whole collection, you can see. We already sold two pieces. You can see on the back, it's signed Kemper. We sold this for... How much? 154 or 175 I can't remember, but it's a nice bowl, and you can see the subject matter is the mother with the children. I don't know what she's doing. But Knitting? Gl glad we sold that. We got all this Kemper for $60. And we have the fish. You can see on the back, it's signed right there. This little platter. Another plate. 
or platter. This pitcher. I like this one. Yeah, that's different color and shape. It has I really a, like a melon the, shape. All right, it has a bird on there. Signed on the bottom. And this one. It's the lady in the front. Yep, I like the colors on that too. Tell it's hand painted. The canister. The two trivets right here. Um, next we have this hand painted in a pond vase. Spent tw we spent twenty dollars on that. Yep. Uh, a little bit of the gold is worn off, but look at the detail on there. Yep. All right, next we have this paperweight. That's beautiful. Look at that. This is signed Richard Olma, nineteen eighty six. A little bit of scratches on the bottom. We have that listed for over a hundred, a hundred and twenty four. Spent $25 on that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Next, we have these two ladies. We have Comedy and then underneath Michael, the bass. Oh. Tragedy. Tragedy. Um, I believe these were made in Tragedy. 1940s. These sell for over $200, especially this color. It's the green which I think is more rare, and the white is rare, too. Yeah, you usually see the black. Yeah, the black. We spent $35 on these. Next, we have these, this brooch or pin and two earrings. It is made by, I don't know if you could see that, Sarah Coventry. But look at the orange on there and the gold. Reminds me of the 1970s. But look at that here. That's what it looks like. Good in your lord. <laughs> pretty, pretty. <Beautiful>. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. And then we have this enamel butterfly. When you turn on the side, I thought it was a locket, but it's not. It's a pendant. But look at that. That's beautiful. We haven't listed these yet. Okay, well, I think that's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed our video tonight. Um, don't forget to check out our eBay store, The Thrifting Twins. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.